What's up guys, this is Brad from Brickstar and today I am reviewing LEGO 43217 The Up House. This is 9+, plus, contains 598 pieces, two minifigures, uh, in, as well as sort of a, a kind of a third. Uh, and it released on the 1st of April 2023, it is not yet retired, so it's fairly new, and it originally retailed for $49.99 in the UK, $59.99 in the US, and $54.99 in Europe. So, of course, I am so excited about this set. So I've had this set for quite a while now. Um, this was actually the first set that got me back into yellow. So, yellow, Lego. This is the first set that got me back into Lego. So a lot of you may know that... Um, I've recently got back into Lego and I'm, you know, that's sort of, I've been trying to get all the sets based on the MCU, etc. This was the first set that I bought when I got back into Lego. This was the set that really made me think, oh my God, I have to get back into Lego. Um, so I'm really excited just to be sharing the set with you guys. This is of course part of the Disney 100 line, Disney Turn 100 just a few weeks ago at the time of this filming. Um, which is so cool, so cool that this set even exists. I mean, this is a dream set for me. Um, of course, Up is a brilliant film. It's from Pixar. Um, this is just so cool. I mean, the box art itself, I love. I love the Disney 100 sort of silvery um, design on the box art. I just love. It just looks perfect. The set looks perfect. So we get Doug, Russell, and Carl Fredrickson. So Russell and Carl Fredrickson are sort of the minifigures, and Doug is sort of a mold, but some of you may count him as a minifigure. Um, these are all exclusive, of, of course. This is the only set based on the up ever. So these are all exclusive, and it, I just think it's really cool that we even have this. When we get any set based on Pixar, it's really, really nice. Anyway, but if I just turn the box around, you can see there's an, more design on the back. Um, which just shows you sort of the what you can do in the house. There are pictures here as well of the little details in the house and sort of the references to the film. Um, just a really, really awesome set. So let's get straight into the review, starting with the minifigures. Starting off the minifigures is, of course, Carl Fredrickson, and he is the protagonist of the film. Um, oh, God, what a minifigure. I love this. This is so cool. Um... So these are obviously based on Pixar characters, and some people would prefer molded heads. I think these are absolutely fine. This looks great. Um, there is no any, there's no printing on the legs, but that does not bother me in the slightest. He does also have the slightly shorter legs, which is really cool, as he is really short in the film. But they're the ones that do move around. They're not the ones that are just fixed in position. Um, and he, of course, has his suit on as well. And look at this, just the, the colouring is so great. Everything about this is so perfect. Obviously with pixel characters anyway, they're pretty, not plain, but they're not extravagantly detailed. They are what they are. And this just looks so cool. He's obviously got his badge on there. So he's sort of reached the end of the film and he's he's got his badge from Russell. But that is just amazing. I think the hairpiece is great. This is the hairpiece they use for Star-Lord. They've used it in white. It looks crazy good on, on uh, Carl. The, <laughs> the face expression is so, so cool. I love the mouth. I think the expression is so fun and is definitely so like Carl. If I just turn him around, there is a tiny, tiny bit of printing on the back. It's, it's on... It's black on brown, so it looks it's very dark, um, so you can't see it very well at all. But I do believe there is a second facial expression as well, which is him more happy, which I think is great they included that. I'm so glad they included that. Overall, I just also, I love I love the eyebrows. The eyebrows are spot on, as he does have very big eyebrows. Um, I just love this minifigure. I think it's great. Um, I just... I just think it's amazing. I'm just so glad I have this set. Like, this set for me is, like I said before, it's a dream set for me. Uh, Carl also comes with, of course, his little... Um his little tennis uh, ball sort of walking stick and of course they couldn't fit the tennis balls on it it would have been nice if they could have but hey i'm not going to complain as this is this set is already great so this is just one of the um sort of tap pieces connected to one of a roller skate for a minifigure which creates his um his which creates his uh walking stick which is really cool and you can just pop it on him like that and pop it down like that which is really cool that he has that um, it does go a bit lower as well. Um, overall, really, really love this minifigure. Like, this is a really great minifigure. Next up, we have Russell. And again, I'm so glad we have this minifigure. I mean, look at him. He's so, so good. Um, he also has really cool uh, torso printing with all of his badges in tow, which looks great. He does have the short legs, but I'm fine with that. They aren't movable, but it's fine. Like he's he needed to be somewhat shorter than Carl, but like not too short. So I get that. I really like that. And he has got dual molded arms, which is really really nice too. 
Um, the face expression is spot on. This is spot on for uh, for Russell. This is spot on. He's just so cheerful, cheerful and happy. I love it. Um, the hair piece is great. So this is a new mold that is combined with a hat, which is really, really awesome. Um, and if I do turn around, he does have back torso printing, but he actually comes with his own backpack, which is its own build, which is crazy insane. So you've got sort of a red mug here. You've got binoculars. You have got a um, w what would be used for a, a glass, sort of a, a wine glass, a pan. You've got a fork here on the side. This is just so, so cool. He has his own backpack and that is just stuck on via a translucent sort of bit under the head there. I don't believe he has a second facial expression. He does have a second facial expression. This is so awesome, guys. Like, um, do you know what? I've had him display for so long just with this one. Ah, and that has fallen off too. So this is his second facial expression, which also just equally looks so great. So he's got the happy one and then the even happier. Um, I love that Lego did that. So he's happy and even happier. That is so, so cool. And if you just see here, there is the back torso printing as well uh, with the orange and brown so they that's really cool that they even did that considering that they know this is going to go on as well so this just pops on this is its own build as well you see the top there as well there is a little stud piece um so you could put more on there if you wanted to this just obviously goes on these two studs here um like so i will say one thing about this minifigure is that if you don't have him stuck onto a um onto studs he does fall over quite easily so if I just pop him down um, on studs, he'll be all right. But he does fall over quite easily, which I'll show you guys later. But really, really great to have Russell in minifigure form. And finally, we have Doug, which um, some people are counting as minifigures, some people aren't, but I love this. This is its own mold. It looks like the character. It looks like Pixar, which is great. Um, this really should have been a mold, of course, as it is a dog. He looks great. So this is Doug the talking dog. He looks fabulous. His coloring is great. Um, it's perfect. I love the little tail at the back just sticking up. Um, he's of course sitting down. It just looks, it just looks great. Really, really nice. And of course, even the little detail here of sort of the, the bit of hair at the front of his chest. I love that. He just looks so cute as well with the mouth open. I think that's a really, really cool mold there. So it's really cool that they included Doug too. Unfortunately, we didn't get a Kevin build or minifigure, but that would have upped the piece count, but I don't think it would have upped it that much, which is frustrating, but unfortunately Kevin isn't in this, but to have Doug is just crazy good. And now moving on to the actual set itself. I really, really like this set. I just want to say I really, really do think it does look like the Up House very, very much. I mean, the colour scheme is brilliant. You've got the pinks, the blue and the green and sort of the yellow it just all comes together so well and really really does look like the up house it looks like a pixar set um i think just for the color scheme alone they've done it really well even here on sort of the chimney uh the chimney sorry the, the roof they've done sort of they've just used these little um circular uh triangular one by two pieces just to sort of add that bit of detail which adds that bit of sort of not cartoon like but sort of animated look to this set which just again adds to the set and really really does make it seem a lot more um like pixar and again just a few more details here i mean they've added even they've even added the, the sort of water pump at the bottom which they didn't have to do but of course it would have looked weird if they didn't i guess because it is in the house and there is also some detail on the front of the door there which is a sticker if you can just see that so that is actually a sticker there on the front of the door um, and there is a little window in there as well. Um, overall, the front really, really does look great. I mean, just it just looks incredible. Um, this bit, by the way, is also a second piece. Uh, it's like a second part that comes with it. We're going to take a look at this in more detail in a second, so I'm just going to pop over there. Um, but if we just take a quick and better look at the house itself, um, you do also have the cockerel uh, on the top there. Um, which of course is authentic as it is also put in the house in the in the film. Um, again, there is just the pieces on the side here, which just add that bit more detail and the colouring again on the side. And if we take a look at the back of the build, there is so much to go into here. You know, for such a small build, it is relatively quite small. There is actually a lot to go through in this build. So if we just take a look at everything in the build close up, so. On the bottom floor here, again, the stickered piece returns for the door. Um, this is sort of the doorway room. Obviously, this isn't an extended house. This is sort of just very small rooms. But then you have a little plant here, which is a nice touch. And then there's another stickered piece just here as well. If it wants to focus, 
there's another sticker piece just there as well, which is representing sort of a, a picture. And then we have a clock as well. And again, that is a stickered piece there. Um, but it does look really nice. They've sort of used these um, these pieces here to sort of create the chimes on the clock, which I think is really, really nice. And again, as well, just using this uh, piece here to create a vent, which again is just the little details that are nice. Then we come to the living room and there is a lot in this living room. Um, so here is a record player, which is a really, really nice build. It's a small build. Um, this is just using sort of a fireman's hat piece for the top part and then just a circular piece at the bottom, which came out really well, I believe. Um, oh, sorry. There is another painting there, which is of the house on the cliff, which is really nice detail. There is a little bird in there and a compass um, and a fireplace as well, a small fireplace build. And of course, Carl's iconic chair. Um, and there is also a nice little Paradise Falls, Paradise Falls money jar in there, which is a, I believe that is a printed, it is a printed piece, which is a really, really nice printed piece there. And uh, a lampshade as well, which is a different lampshade than we've gotten in the past. Um, it's a sort of different design with sort of the um, rigid edge uh, block piece there. Um, there is also some paintings in there, which are very more difficult to see. So you've got Ellie on the right. You've got Carl and Ellie as they, when they're younger on the, in the middle. And then you've got uh, a young Carl as well, which is really hard to see because it is really dark. Let me see if I can try and take this off. Okay. I don't want to take it off and then it breaks. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> I'm not going to risk it guys. Uh, that could be catastrophic and I do not want that to happen. Um, basically there is another, another painting of Carl in there as a child and there is also another painting as well of just trees as well. So that's a really nice addition to the set. Moving up to the top of the set, we have Carl's bedroom, which has a bed by it, which, uh, which is again, it's one of these small bed builds. I think they were first introduced in sort of the Simpsons house. I'm not really sure if they're introduced before that. Um, I do really like the build. I think the colors look great. It's lo it looks like a bed. It's fine. I think the builds are great. Obviously you could not fit them and you could get into that bed, but it still works really well. And again, there is another picture, which is of Ellie when she's really young this time. And then moving along to the next room, we do have a TV, which is a, uh, again, a sticker piece here. Um, and it is the usual TV build, I can't lie, but again, nice to include it. And then there is a little box at the back as well, which does include, if I just take the uh, chimney down, it does include, if I can just grab it, da, da, da. it does include, uh, the chimney piece has fallen off, it does include the My Adventure Book, which is a really, really, really cool addition. Um, which they didn't have to include, but they have um, if it wants to focus. And inside the adventure book, it also says Once Upon a Time, which is, of course, with every Disney set, this has been the... I really want it to focus on this. It's sort of continuing to focus on the actual set itself, uh, which with every set has been the... has been... Um, Part is sort of a little, it's like in Marvel, there's the fire extinguishers. There is this once upon a time in the Disney sets and it, it really does not want to focus at all on that. But there, <laughs> uh, look, sometimes you just have issues while filming and this is clearly one of them. But yeah, it's, it's once upon a time. If you've had a Disney set before, you'll know exactly what I mean. But that goes in the little box at, at the top here, which as the chimney pieces come off, I can show you. Just goes in here um, like so, which is a nice little... Uh, cameo, cameo, uh, addition there. Uh, so the chimney pieces, the chimney piece, uh, chimney, I keep calling it the chimney, the roof, the roof, this is sort of the back of the build of the roof. So sort of getting the coloring for the, uh, for the front view. And then they are just on these two clippy pieces here, which of course, if you've, if you've used them before, they only move a certain way. So you can't actually move them very far, but then they do just, they do just clip on like so and then you can sort of move it that's how much you can move it so I, I i really i do assume you're not really meant to move the chimney i mean i don't think it's designed for moving if i'm honest um but i don't really know why you'd need to this is more of a display set than a play set if i'm honest uh what is interesting is that at the bottom and up here as well there is room for um sort of to connect the build to another build. I'm not sure if they're planning on a second build for this. This would be really cool if they are, or if you can connect it to another Disney build. I'm not sure at all, but uh, it's cool that they've added that in this anyway. Um, and that also 
that middle part also comes together to form the um, the chimney this is actually the chimney <laughs> and of course the balloons as well which if I just take it off I can go and show you a better detail so the balloons are connected via this red connector piece here which actually just connects at the top of the build into there into the black um, uh, block there um, and these are a really cool build so these are actually really unique so the booklet the instruction manual does actually tell you which ones to make it doesn't just give you the option to put them as it does want you to get that sort of colored variation which i think was a really nice from the instruction manual sometimes it lego just lets you make them and it's sort of like i want to get the sort of an accurate authentic look and it's really cool that they did that um, again, lots of different colours. You've got blue, you've got red, yellow, green. Um, there are a few magenta pinks in there as well. Um, red as well. Uh, I think I said red. Um, but yeah, these are all the same build, roughly. Uh, let me see. Yeah, these were all the same build, but it's other than that, I mean, some of them are a little different, like this yellow one, for example, is a bit bigger than this red one, but uh, roughly they are all the same build. But it was a really, really nice build, and they just attach via these uh, grippers here um, and so you can pull them out if you want to obviously um, they weren't pulled out in the film but you can sort of extend them even more if you want to make it just that bit bigger but uh, it does advise that you put them all in like so um, and they do also go on a certain way as well so they go on with the let me check is it yeah I believe like so so when you turn it around yeah sort of with the was it that way I, I i believe there is a certain way that they go on um with the colors at the front again it, it doesn't really matter too much unless you're really really going for authenticity authenticity um but overall the house itself is a brilliant brilliant set and yeah just great for its price as well and the additional small part they give you is this is a smaller build um, it also comes with a squirrel, so like, if you want to count that as an extra minifigure, I guess you can. It is a bit frustrating they gave us a squirrel and not Kevin, but I guess it would have up the piece count to give us Kevin, but also <laughs> we did not really need a squirrel as part of the set. But this is a really cool addition, it's just a bit of the side of the house with the post box, um, some fence as well, there's some fence blocks um, which are always useful to have, and this is obviously where he is blowing up the balloons, which is a really fun little um, addition to the set. Honestly, not really needed. I'm not really sure why they added it. They could have sort of used this piece count for a Kevin. Um, but, you know, who's to complain when you get a house as stunning as that in Lego form? So, yeah, this is a nice, I guess, a nice little addition. I would have personally preferred Kevin. I cannot lie. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say I wouldn't have preferred Kevin. I would have, of course, preferred Kevin. Um, but it is what it is. And, you know... An Alpha House set itself is incredible to have in Lego form, so I'll take it as it is. Um, and of course, you can also stick your minifigures down as well. So I tend to have, um, again, Russell just seems to sort of fall. Um, he doesn't really stand up very well with his big, um, with his big backpack. So I sort of tend to lean him on the house like that. And I do place Doug as well next to the squirrel, just on the grass area, like so. If he wants to sit there, he doesn't want to sit there. Um, but, you know, you can put the characters where you want, really, if you are displaying. Um, but, yeah, that is it for the review. Um, let me know what you guys think of the review. Have you got this set? Do you like this set? Do you agree with me that it is just as authentic and is great? Um, again, would have been nice to have Kevin. Um, so my overall thoughts on this, great, 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 great set. Great minifigures, just would have been nice to have Kevin and not really sure we needed the side piece. But overall, for the money, it is brilliant. Again, £50 in the UK, absolute bargain. So that is my thoughts overall, but um, please let me know if you have this in the comments below. So like, comment, subscribe, it all helps with the channel. Again, again, I say it every time, but this channel is literally just me to share my love of Lego with everyone else. I'm not trying to get anything out of this channel other than that. I just love sharing my... My love of Lego with everyone else. I don't know that many people that enjoy Lego, especially adult fans of Lego. So this is just a really cool way for me to do that. Um, so please like, comment, share, subscribe, etc. And I will see you all on the next review.